Hello once again. So in this session, we will be looking at using the pivot functions in SQL. So let me just quickly fire up my management studio and let's connect to AdventureWorks. So let me just open some table, say the sales territory itself. And again, it has just simple data, couple of columns in it. And let me just try reducing the number of columns. Um, I'm going to use the country region code and the group, the sales YTD. And yeah, let's just use those. So you see that we have three columns right now. And then uh, what we are going to do is, you know, pretty much like we do in Excel for pivots, what we do is we interchange the columns and rows. So essentially, um, you know, if you if you need something like a country region code, I'm just trying to draw a small mockup over here. And then basically, um, instead of group values, you're going to have them as column names. So essentially, North America would be a column. And, uh, and so on and so forth. Like in second column, third column would be say Europe and then what else um, and then you have the sales ytd distributed across that so you know for values you'll have something like us and you'll have the sales ytd for north america as something whatever is um, you know fits into that category so this may not be a very perfect example but just to give you an idea and just to keep this demo very simple i'm going to use this so what i'm going to do over here is write a couple of statements to just demonstrate um, how we use the pivot um, in SQL. So I'm going to say something like select country region code. And so this is something which I don't like that you need to actually hard code the column names at this point. Uh, and you know, I totally understand that it's not always possible to know these values. But um, we, we will also you know, talk about how can we navigate through this pro problem. So let me just complete this. Um, and from sales territory, the same table I'm going to use. So I'm defining the columns over here as country region code. And then you know whatever where the rows, I'm going to keep them as columns. I'm going to say from sales territory. And here I'm going to do is the pivot keyword. And I'm going to say, distribute the sales by TD for group. So you see that, you know, group is basically the column name over here. So I'm going to use that one. And then I need to specify, you know, the exact columns which I need to consider. So I'm going to consider North America as a column. So it's basically just filtering values over here have to mention Europe and Pacific. So you see that, you know, there are a lot of hard coding being done over here and just give it an alias. Um, let's try doing something over here. Did I miss something? Yeah, one parenthesis thing. That's why it was complaining. And you see that, you know, it has just interchanged the rows and columns. So let me just execute both so that you can have a quick reference. So you see the column names, North America and Europe, and you can really add whatever you want and, you know, kind of depending upon your situations, kind of modify this. So, you know, hard coding the column names is, you know, kind of a very tricky over here and, and you cannot really um, help that out. And I, I feel it's sort of a little limitation, but, you know, to get around with that, you can really use dynamic queries. And that's what I'm going to just show you as a small example. So dynamic queries allow you to just concatenate strings, which are actually queries, and then, you know, um, form your query however you want. It's basically just concatenation of strings, and then you execute that string, and then, you know, it executes as a query. So let's just take this example, right? And let's do something like, um, I'm going to declare a variable called SQL string and call this as, I mean, declare this as varchar or whatever, 3000 or something because, you know, depending that that's going to actually store your query. I'm going to set SQL string equal to 
just let me capture a part of this I'm going to just put this as a string and again I'm going to set SQL string equal to SQL string plus um, the remainder of this one so you see that you know I'm just concatenating two strings which is essentially forming a query so you know in this in the above case also you could really have a variable which basically you know you, you come to know what are the row values and then you dynamically start constructing this query so um, you know that that's actually a way around you can use and then what you do after this is basically let me just show you let me just print out this string just to make sure that you know all the concatenation is right and you see that you know this is the query but this is again a string at this point as it it's not actually returning results to you so to, to basically execute it as a query you use the exec keyword and then you pass in the sql string and once you do this it's going to actually execute the query so you know the query execution returned this and you know the print statement returned this so yeah it's it's pretty simple it's just at the end it's just concatenation of strings but you know that gives you the complete flex flexibility of forming your own queries however you want thanks for watching